Hey everyone, we are Toeway Couple. I'm Tom the driver. And I'm Bunny the load girl. The load girl. That didn't sound good either. No, it didn't. They never sound good. <laughs> <laughs> Take the I'm load. just going to go back to the sandwich maker. The sandwich maker. I like the sandwich maker. She's been making me sandwiches. <laughs> We've been at home. I have been making sandwiches. Right. Or on the road, I buy them. So a lot of people say... I'm going to get in this and I'm going to do only long hauls or I'm going to go this direction only to Florida or only to Texas or south and everything. We want to kind of do a quick video just to kind of gear you up and prepare you. Yes. That we were prepared. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of research. Right. But when we first called, we were told straight up, if you want to make money in this industry, you have to be willing to go any direction at any time. Yep. Short runs, long runs, everything under the sun. If you want to keep those wheels, you're not making money if the wheels are stopped. No. And we were told if you only want to go to Florida or Texas or uh, southern states, Arizona, that chances of getting a load would be a lot harder because everybody under the sun wants to do those loads. And there are certain people that will only go to Florida and back, Florida and back, and nothing else. Yep. We've done one load to Florida. Yeah, we got one lucky. And only. One, and, one only. and only. And you also got to think because those loads, because the southern routes are so popular, popular, and everybody wants them, they usually don't pay as much. Right. So, uh, give an example. We go anywhere. We go anywhere where the dollar amount for per mile, cost yes, per mile. Absolutely. So the first thing we look at is the cost per mile. Because yep. if it's over a certain amount, we know we can't haul it because we can only haul 14500 And we kind of know where the top tier of the 14500 trailers are. Yep. So anything above that, <clears throat> excuse me, we don't even acknowledge because there's no reason to. Because if it's 15000 18000 20000 pounds... We don't have a CDL. So we can only f haul 26,000 pounds combined on GVRW of the trailer and the truck, even though the truck weighs about 1,500 pounds less than the GVRW. And the shipping weight on the trailer is a lot less. You're, they go by what's on the sticker and the door and on the side of the trailer. Yep. All right. So with that, we look for loads that typically pay anywhere from... A dollar fifty-five to a dollar ninety, preferably the dollar ninety. Preferably. Preferably, but going to Florida, we see most of those are anywhere from a dollar twenty-five to a dollar forty in our weight range. Now we do have family that live down there too, so for us, when we can grab one. It's not even a money issue. It's just that we're happy that we got one to go down there. Now we live in Alabama. Mm -hmm. When we go from here to pick up a trailer, it's a 10-hour drive, 10 to 11-hour drive. So would we go all the way from Alabama to Indiana, north Indiana, right by the Michigan border? Yeah, way up there. To take a trailer for $1.25 to $1.40 down to Florida? No. no. No, because that literally would be 22 hours of driving versus just nine hours, eight, nine hours from our house to right, Florida. Yeah, we'll, we'll typically grab that. A Florida, if we're there. If we're there. It, if we've already done a typically, couple. Typically, we've gotten one. <laughs> well, we did get a South Carolina, which put us somewhere close. Yeah, I mean, if we can get along the way to go into Florida, that's right. ideal. But we always usually do them after we've done several loads and gotten um, a little bit of money under our belt. And then we'll go back down that way. And we want to take some time off. Right. So then that way we visit family. Then we'll come around back home for a day or two and then go back up. But... The other thing that we look at, too, is now that we've been in it long enough, we pretty much know where your higher fuel prices are at, too. Right. So if we're going to grab something for, if if it's the last thing on the board and we have to grab something for $1.40, we know which direction not to go into. Correct. Because part of your profits is the fuel rate. So if... I mean, Indiana's one of the highest. Indiana's pretty high. Yeah, yeah. so we'll, you want to make sure. We'll, <laughs> going there, we always make sure that we get our last stop in Kentucky. Kentucky, because once you cross that border, it goes up 50, 70 cents a gallon. Mm -hmm. And that's with the fuel discounts. <laughs> right. I can already tell you, good hope, Alabama. I think it's a 
It's um, Glendale, Kentucky, Some, yeah. <laughs> Joplin, Missouri. Right. So we kind of know where we want to fill up. So if we're going to grab a trailer, we want to make sure, like when we go to California, we know that fuel is going to be, a, and don't quote us on it, Four dollars a gallon, roughly. <laughs> right. I mean, it could, it could be more. We, it could be ten cents less. We I, don't. We I, don't fuel in California I, I, right now. In today's age, everyone no. wants to be very nitpicky <laughs> on accuracy. We, and no, we know. And like I said, we've been doing it long enough. And especially those Northern California runs, we know exactly where to stop and where to stop on the last stop for fuel before you right. go into. So um, this is this video is being done April twenty fifth, twenty twenty one. Just so you have a approximate date if you're watching this three years from now yeah we're never going to take it down but so yeah bunny's right so what we what we do is we have a short bed truck so we're limited to 60 gallon auxiliary tank mm -hmm. and we have our 32 or 35 gallon lower tank some of these lucky people that have a lawn bed have 110 gallons but after looking at those big ass tanks I don't know if I'd want to go that big because that's they a have, lot of storage room. Right. I was going to say when, when they go with that big tank and they have the same. We got more storage. Yeah. They just have more fuel. Right. And then, they, but you also have more weight. You got more weight. Figure eight pounds per gallon. Mm -hmm. So if I'm doing 60 gallons and they're doing 110, you're talking 50 more gallons at eight pounds per gallon that they're hauling when I can fill up along the way. Example, I filled up. I I I fill up when my auxiliary tank is run out, run out, run out, run out. Sound like you're from the south. I'm from the south. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I don't even worry about the main tank, and we kind of look along the way. I will run that main tank completely dry if I'm going to save seventy five cents yeah. to a buck a gallon further up the the road. But if I'm not going to save. If I'm between Indiana and just say California and we see this fuel station at the lowest, at the midpoint, I'm going to top off everything I could top off because it's only going to get more expensive. Case in point, we were traveling with a friend of ours and we both use about the same amount of fuel. So I fill up 55 gallons of fuel at 234 a gallon. Correct. And he didn't fill up. And we drove the same amount of distance, so he would have used about 55 gallons. And mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. I don't know. And when we got to... Winnemucca. Winnemucca, it was 271 a gallon. And we're both filling up. And I'm scratching my head, and I'm like, why didn't you fill up when I filled up? And he goes, why? I had a half a tank. On the auxiliary. And I'm like, yeah, but now you're paying 30 cents more a gallon for 55 gallons when his main tank now is completely empty. I said, so instead of just putting in another 50 gallons, which that's what I put in at 271 a gallon, he's putting 110 gallons in. Yep. I put 50 in, but had he filled up back where and I did, how much he would have saved? I think I guessed it out at about $20, $25. Yep, just to talk. And he was sitting there waiting for us He anyways. was waiting for yeah. us. <laughs> so look, think logically when you are going down the road. So, yes, going anywhere will get you loads, get your wheels turning, everything under the sun. If you are specifically looking for specific routes – Check with a bunch of companies because there are a couple companies that only do Florida and nothing else. Right. And that might be the per if you're gonna only do Florida, I won't even mention what company they are. You could do your own research on that. But if all you're looking for is Florida, research all the companies and ask them. If you're looking for only Texas runs, and then you want to ask about backhauls. We weren't interested in backhauls in the beginning. We're starting to do them now because with the part shortage, we're willing to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. So, And we were willing to go anywhere in the beginning too, but we just didn't want to do backhauls. Now, hey, it's an option. Well, and the backhauls didn't pay as much. Right. But now the backhauls are still paying about the same, but out of Indiana, the pay has dropped. Yeah. So you don't get the higher pay anymore. Because they were given bonuses at the time. So at the time, why would I want to do a backhaul for a dollar forty to a dollar fifty-five 
when in Indiana I can get dollar ninety to two dollars. So you want to turn? We were turning and coming right back, and then grabbing and going again. Right, instead of wasting our time. And some people would say it's not a waste of time if your wheels are turning. I'm thinking 40, 50 cents a mile. To me, if I can get that, I don't want to waste my time. Well, plus the fact less. that plus the fact that you're making we do about double in mileage unloaded than we do loaded. Correct. So we're doing about ele- well, not quite. We're doing about eleven to twelve unloaded or loaded and about twenty coming back. That miles per gallon. Yeah. Not double mileage. Right. So yeah, we're getting about anywhere from ten to twelve miles per gallon loaded. And then coming back, we're getting about twenty. And then I just heard of this diesel clean, which we have a link for. Holy cow, we gained three miles to the gallon. I didn't realize it ups your cetane levels like octane boost and it also lubricates the fuel pump and the injectors which makes them more efficient right absolutely and cleans them yeah so check that out in our links Mm -hmm. uh so if you're willing to go anywhere you'll make money if you're only looking for certain routes even when the part shortage is over you're going to make less money because everybody wants those and you're going to be competing with right, everybody right you even could be us. sitting you could be sitting for a while right because us if you're only going to want to do florida we want to do florida yep and if we can't get florida we're willing to jump on anything else mm-hmm. but if we can get a florida you're competing with us yeah and three thousand other drivers yep yep now a lot of luckily for us a lot of people don't like to go into california they don't like to do that um especially the northern california run right Hey, we do. We do. We like because it. Because we have family in Southern California. Yeah. So yep. we, we jump over to Northern California. <laughs> this last time, we jumped in Northern California and jumped out and went straight back to Indiana and yeah. went to Delaware. Oh, no. We went to Idaho, then Washington for four yep. dispatches, then back to Indiana to Delaware. Again, we're willing to go anywhere. So definitely. You know, like I said, for a lot of people that have families in certain areas, they only want to go that one way. But if you are more open and you're going to go and you're going to travel and you're going to see, then definitely grab whatever direction you want. Exactly. Or wherever it takes you. Exactly. And then you can always go visit family later on or anything. But if you need this to make an income, just remember Wheels turning, you're making money. Wheels stopped, you're not making money. And in this, right now, in the wintertime, is a slow period anyways. Yep. But this part shortage should end. We're hoping it ends. Everything should be opening back up. And we're hoping that we can pick and choose. Plus the fact that it's in the wintertime and everybody wants to go south because it's less snow. And a lot of people don't want to go to Canada. We're bringing our passports because if we can get some Canada loads, they pay good money. And if we could take a trailer and a motorhome into Canada, that might be pretty good because a lot of people can't. Yep. Yep. So we're both passport ready and we're both essential drivers. Yes. (laughs) So definitely anywhere, make money. You want specific, less money, but it's still a great job. It's still a lot of fun. You still have fun. Yep. All right. So if you have any questions, definitely send us an email. Mm -hmm. We actually got an email on this. This is why we did this. And if you want to know any more, check out towawaycouple.com. We actually list a bunch of things that we think is of interest to everybody. Bunny's hitting the microphone. Check us out on Twitter and Instagram. We post stupid pictures of our travels. And watch all of our YouTube videos. Like and subscribe and click the gray bell. Absolutely. All right. My shameless plug. Of course. All right. So watch to the end of this video and you'll see a couple other recommended videos. Yes. Bye-bye. See you down the road. See you down the road.